earlier today I uh, made a video that included an explanation of how I took the uh, door to Laurie's closet and moved it over here to the subdivision of what used to be the master bedroom closet and um, in the process I came across Laurie's old height markings. So I thought uh, some of her friends might get a kick out of seeing these. Um, Laurie is gone, but her friends are still alive. So uh, I thought they might get a kick out of seeing how tall Laurie was in 1973. This is November of 1973. So she's getting ready to turn 14. Uh, what my parents would do is they would periodically have a stand against the door jam and then they'd use a book like a right angle gauge on the top of her head to mark where the top of her head was on the door jam and then they'd put the date and like you can see that this is how tall Laurie was in 1971 and then she grows up to here in 1974 or excuse me 73 and that's about, that's, you know, five feet, four inches. And that's about how tall Lori was. Um, she might have grown another inch at most. But uh, she was not a, a tall person. Um, but don't underestimate her, okay? Um, very powerful things come in small packages. And having been on the receiving end of some of that power, I can attest firsthand <laughs> that while she may not have been a tall woman, she was not somebody to be trifled with. <laughs> uh, so you have to understand, Laurie never forgave me for being born. Um, for the first four years of her life, Laurie was an only child, which meant that 100% of the benefits went to her. Mathematically, it's the only possible outcome. Then I was born, and now the benefits have to be shared. <laughs> It is mathematically impossible for her to get 100% of the benefits. <laughs> and um, she would sometimes express her displeasure um, without using words. <laughs> and I'm sure that, that we can't be the only siblings that, that would uh, squabble and sometimes have physical altercations. <laughs> uh, and we grew out of it. Uh, by the time uh, we were adults, uh, we had become quite close. So, uh, but uh, in 1973, <laughs> she was still harboring a little bit of a grudge. And in her defense, you know, I was her little brother. So surely there were times that I received a sucker punch that was warranted. But I can attest firsthand, not all of them were warranted. <laughs> but anyway, for Laurie's friends' benefit, because this will be getting painted over as I prepare the house for rental service, but for their benefit, um, your friend Laurie was this tall in 1973.